Roland RP10 is not as known as LAPCI or a CC1, but it sure is more interesting in my opinion. RAP stands for Roland Audio Production, or as the name suggests, it was made for audio production. Although it was an excellent card for audio production, I am as always interested in those games. Is this card really that good? Can it even be used in those games? Let's dive into the world of Roland's perfection and let's hear if Roland deserves the praise it usually gets. RP10 is essentially sound canvas SC7 with MPU 401 interface on 16 bit digital audio, so it should be possible to use it in any game that supports Gerald MIDI. We'll see about that. SC7 was a younger brother to SC55. I have no idea how SC7 sounds yet, but it should be on par with SC55. They should have identical instrument sets. SC7, as well as RP10, is general MIDI only. It doesn't support Roland's own GS standard, which is a bit weird on a production card. But since we are here for DOS gaming, it should be perfect for playing back MIDI music in games. Roland release cards like LAPCI or CC1. These cards can handle only MIDI playback. RAP, on the other hand, is the first and also the last Roland's card that supports digital audio and Roland's last PC-based ISA card. Card's resolution is 16-bit at 44kHz, so it should be crystal clear. Unfortunately, there's no Sound Blaster emulation for this card, so I assume games need direct RAP support, otherwise sounds won't work. It doesn't even have OPL chip or any kind of OPL clone chip, so if you like FM synth, this card's not for you. Games supporting only Sound Blasters or Sound Cards with OPL chip shouldn't work at all with RAP. Let's set up the card. There are a couple of jumpers and switches you need to set up. First switch enables or disables joystick, the rest is to select the address. Default address is of course 330, so I'm gonna leave it there. These jumpers set IRQ, the default is 9, I'm gonna leave it there as well. This jumper sets the mic and line in to stereo or mono. On the last jumper just turns off the sound output. Back panel holds the usual, mic slash line in, auxiliar in, on speaker out. Joystick and MIDI connector is as usually on the left side of the card. Even though the card's got an amplified output, it's super clean, as you'd expect from a production card. To connect an external MIDI device, you need Roland's breakout box. I wouldn't use any other external general MIDI device for DOS gaming, our AP should be perfect. The only device I would use would be MT32. There are no drivers nor any other utilities for DOS, which means no mixer and no Sound Blaster emulation. I found a list of games with direct RAP support. I'll try as many as I can to find out how many of those actually work. First game I tried was Abuse. Weird thing about Abuse is, it supports all sorts of Roland devices for music, including RAP10, but not for sound effects. I don't understand why they bother to include the music driver, but not the sound driver. Second game was Albion. It uses Miles drivers, and as I said many times before, Miles drivers are pretty much dump proof and work every time. The setup of course supports RAP10 for sound and general MIDI for music. So any game that uses Miles drivers should work with this card perfectly. Doom 1, Doom 2 and Duke 3D unfortunately don't support the bloody card. So you're stuck with only general MIDI and no sound effects.
If a game supports Gerald MIDI, MPU-41, Sound Canvas or SCC-1, it works perfectly and sounds sick. It's also possible to use drivers for MT32 or LAPCI, it is somewhat compatible, but it's far cry from perfect. RAP10 is general MIDI only card and uses only necessary number of instruments to comply with general MIDI standard, which is 128 instruments, thus uses these instruments to somehow emulate MT32. Take a listen. Even though it worked in every game I tried, flashback however, didn't work at all. There are two options in the setup, neither one worked. All games with RAP support worked perfectly, except one, Tomb Raider. Setup detected the card, it even made a sound, but it was anything but pleasant. Right, let's go adventuring. I tried different settings, different hardware, different DOS versions. Nothing helped. The rest of the games worked fine though. Yes. 
So if you're after an internal sound card that handles general MIDI in exceptional quality, sounds cracking and works in every game that supports general MIDI or any kind of Roland, go for it, you won't be disappointed. It can also handle digital audio in 16-bit at 44kHz, on the output is super clean. Unfortunately, to get all games working, you still need another sound card, because RAP is not widely supported as a sound effects card. The card, however, is quite rare and can be bloody expensive. There are not so many sound cards out there that sound this good. In the beginning of this video, I said that it should sound pretty much the same as SC55. Most of the time it's true, however, during the test I noticed slight differences. Some of the instruments sounded a bit different, not worse, but different. Overall, all instruments sounded more pronounced, more noticeable, all stand out in the song. So in the end, I like this much more than SC55 or any other sound card yet. The only drawback is the digital audio support, but this card is so good and kind of special that I can live with that. I still need to get my hands on a CC1 and a PCI, but this card is a treat. I'm the safe for today. I'll be back with some more stuff. Catch you all in the comments and see you next time.